23 year sentence. A judge will not delay the execution of a man convicted of killing a family of four in Richmond. Ricky Gray's attorneys asked for the delay to challenge the state's plan to use lethal injection drugs from a secret compounding pharmacy. Get rid of your old electronics. The 10 Cares Grand E Recycling Drive is this Saturday from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Grand Home Furnishings at Valley View Mall. Proceeds benefit Center in the Square. The E Recycling Drive, we will not take any tube TVs or CRT computer monitors. Those are those big giant monitors from years past. For more information, visit our website, WSLS.com. We are so excited to be doing this again. Last year we saw hundreds of cars and collected thousands upon thousands of pounds of uh, a items. A ton of electronics yes. out there. It is 539 now. Gonna hand things back over to Christina with an update on your forecast. Some of us need that umbrella this morning. Christina, good morning to you. Good morning. Just a few lingering showers and we will have another round pushing in after 10 this morning. So we'll get to that in just a bit. 39 degrees now, well above freezing in Martinsville. Live look from our new College Institute sky cam. Looks like the roads are pretty good and most of the snow melted away. Still have a little bit lingering though in Martinsville. We also have a couple of light showers, mainly sprinkles through Withville, Hillsville. Most locations dry at this point. Point. We did have a round of rain, though, move through overnight out ahead of a cold front. We typically see those temperatures dipping behind a cold front, but we're not going to get that today because we have a warm front on the way. Notice those rain showers lifting from Tennessee into Kentucky. We are going to see that batch of rain lifting into our region later on this morning, mainly between 10 and 11 into the NRV, then during the early afternoon hours across the rest of the area. Most of these showers stretching just across the Blue Ridge. Looks like south side, you're not really going to see much today, just a couple of sprinkles with most of the rain staying along and west of the parkway. Then tonight it all winds down, but we will keep the clouds around. Temperatures top out in the upper 40s to lower 50s across Roanoke, Lynchburg, south side, middle to upper 40s in the NRV and in the Highlands. We are entering a warming pattern, jet stream taking a big ridge over us, allowing that warm air to push in, but also the moisture from the Gulf. That means with temperatures climbing, we're also going to see a lot of cloud cover over the next few days and also some passing rain showers, especially today, then again on our Friday through Monday. The coolest day coming up on our Saturday. That's when we have a wedge in place. But after Saturday, we climb back in to those 50s. So an above average week, weekend, and into next work week. And our picture of the day is from Claudia Cundiff. Uh, she took this at Union Hall. Beautiful snow photo. Don't think we're going to get more of those, mainly melting photos today. Thank goodness for that. And a beautiful cardinal sitting right there yes. uh, in the snow. Beautiful. Email us your pictures and news at WSLS.com, and you may see them right here on Virginia Today. All right, coming up at 5.50, I'll have your hour-by-hour -hour temperature forecast for each location. 5.41, coming up, President Obama says farewell. Imperative to strive together as well to achieve a common good, a greater good. More on what the president said in his final speech to the nation, plus his thoughts for the future of our country. An attracting artist to Blacksburg, the new initiative leaders hope will make the town a go-to spot for creativity. Island Ridge Rehab. Our heart is in your health care. Our heart is in you. Get rid of old electronics cluttering your house. Come to Grand Home Furnishings near Valley View Mall January 14th from 7 till 3. Safely dispose of your old electronics for free at the 10 Cares Grand Home Furnishings e-recycling drive. Benefiting center in the square. No tube TVs, please. Having a baby takes a lot of preparation. And since we have movie nights whenever he falls asleep, we decide to switch to Cox and get Contour TV. We also got high-speed internet, so our families can see the baby anytime. Say hi. Get the new Contour and Cox high-speed internet with 50 megabits per second for just $89.99 a month. Free pro install and HD receiver included. And since we have unlimited nationwide calling, we can call mom anytime for advice. Switch to get free unlimited nationwide and international calling to over 30 countries, 50 megabits per second internet, and over 50,000 on-demand titles. No contract for just $89.99 a month. Cox gave us all this without a contract, just in case we need to plan for more. Already? 
and get 50 megabits per second internet, the new Contour, and free international calling to Mexico and other countries. No contract for just $89.99 a month with free pro install and HD receiver included. Switch today. I like Jeff because he has lots of cars and trucks. My dad says he sells them cheap. Lucky. My mama says it's because he doesn't charge duck fees. That's duck fees, silly. Jeff, don't charge him. No hidden fees, not now, not ever. My daddy really liked that. When we get a car, he buys me ice cream. And my mom smiles a lot. Listen to the kids and come see for yourself at Jeff Johnson Chevrolet. You're gonna like it here. How's Jim? Better. He's coming home soon, and I'm going to assure that he doesn't fall again. Really? I listened to you and called Bath Fitter. Bath Fitter came into our home and turned our old tub into a beautiful new walk-in shower. They took care of everything, the shower seat, safety bars, and even the shower doors. Now we can safely stay in our home longer. This month only, 0% APR financing for 24 months. To be a world-class athlete, you need impeccable hand and eye coordination, quick reflexes, and teammates who look out for you. You need laser-like precision, pinpoint accuracy, and focused follow-through. It also helps to have a strong grip and perfect balance. Luckily, at Union, you don't have to be a sports star to bank like a champion. You get big-time banking solutions that make life easy. So easy, it'll make you say, I got this. Bankatunion.com Come on up, Grandpa. Don't let joint discomfort keep you down. Come play with us. I'm coming. Upgrade to Move Free Ultra's triple action joint support for improved mobility and flexibility. It also provides 20% better comfort than glucosamine chondroitin. All from one tiny, mighty pill. Get in there with Move Free Ultra and enjoy living well. Living Always trust the Weather Authority. WSLS Storm Team 10. 5.45 now and President Barack Obama back at the White House this morning after saying goodbye to the nation in a rousing campaign-like speech focusing heavily on race, economic inequality, and threats to democracy. NBC's Tracy Potts in Washington with details. Struggling to begin amid wild applause. I can't do that. President Obama says goodbye to 18,000 supporters and the nation. America is a better, stronger place than it was when we started. He hit on major accomplishments, the financial and auto bailouts, health care, killing Osama bin Laden. He talked about immigration, climate change, opportunity, and race. For if we don't create opportunity for all people, the disaffection and division that has stalled our progress will only sharpen in years to come. He urged action. If you're disappointed by your elected officials, grab a clipboard, get some signatures, and run for office yourself. The president got choked up talking about his staff, Vice President Biden, and the First Lady. You have made me proud, and you have made the country proud. America's first African-American president. I'm asking you to believe not in my ability to bring about change, but in yours. Yes, we can. Yes, we did. Yes, we can. Thank you. God bless you. Ending his term the way he began. Before the speech, President Obama stopped by one of his favorite Chicago restaurants. Afterwards, he and the First Lady spent about 20 minutes shaking hands and taking selfies with the crowd. Tracy Potts, NBC News, Washington. NBC's Lester Holt sits down with President Obama just moments before that farewell address. Tell me what happened that night watching those results when you realized that Donald Trump was going to win. Was there an unvarnished Barack Obama at that moment? You know, you, you know there, there was just surprise. Um, you know, generally speaking, uh, not just me, but my team have been pretty good at seeing something coming. And uh, you know, partly because just the polling was so off and the data was off, uh, there was a surprise. 
You can see the interview Friday night in a Dateline primetime special, Barack Obama, The Reality of Hope at 10, right here on WSLS 10. Happening today, President-elect Donald Trump set to hold a news conference. Trump has not held one since July, the longest wait for any recent president-elect to face the media. Trump previously announced he would answer questions in mid-December, but then canceled that event. Today's news conference is set to be held at Trump Tower in New York City. The town of Blacksburg wants to session. Some of the topics up for discussion. Good morning and happy Wednesday to you. We thank you for waking up with us this morning. I'm Patrick McKee. I'm Jenna Zimpton, and the sounds of melting oh. are here. That little drip, drip, drip coming from your rooftop. You're not imagining it. It's such a <laughs> glorious sound. Give you a live look this morning. We continue following a developing story. Fire crews in Pulaski are still on the scene of an overnight fire. Crews were first called to Pulaski Church of God on Bobway Boulevard just before 11 last night. WSLS 10's Aaron Brookshire joins us live from the scene this morning. Aaron, you've been talking to the fire marshal all morning. What do we know now? Yeah, he tells us that crews were first called out here. WSLS 10. Thanks, Aaron. The Martinsville fire chief wants you to safely heat your home after a family's home was destroyed during a fire Monday night because the oven and burners on the stove were being used for heat. The fire chief says the home's heater was not working. He says ovens are not designed to be used as a heating source, and it will actually cost you more to run the oven then get your heater fixed and use it. Your kitchen stove is not designed at all to heat your home. So uh, keep that in mind. If you have any questions, you know, all the fire departments will be more than happy to help you. If you need smoke alarms, we are installing free smoke alarms. The Red Cross is helping the family. New this morning, a homicide invest as he plans to make a decision in the next seven days. State lawmakers are in Richmond for the 2017 regular session of the General Assembly. And some of the topics lawmakers are set to consider this session include if school security officers should be armed, who should be able to dispense naloxone for opioid overdoses, as well as a bill introduced by Delegate Greg Habib about restoring gun rights to nonviolent ex-felons who have had their civil rights restored. Delegate Greg Habib says there's a big coalition of support. There's been a big talk about that this year, so I filed a whole package of bills on those issues. Um, I don't know if the time is right yet for Virginia to, to take that step, but I've refiled some of those bills. Coming up in our next half hour, we'll hear from Delegate Sam Rasool about his plans for the upcoming session. And WSLS 10's Bree Jackson will be in Richmond today with live coverage during our 90 minutes of news starting at 5. Republicans will keep control of the state Senate as Republican Mark Peake wins the 22nd district seat in the special election. Peake will now represent Lynchburg, Amherst, and Appomattox counties. He'll replace former state Senator Tom Garrett after getting 53% of the vote. 607 now in Roanoke County over. In what's news today, Governor Terry McAuliffe delivers his final State of the Commonwealth address tonight. In previous addresses, Governor McAuliffe encouraged the General Assembly to expand Medicaid. It's possible the governor will address the one and a half billion dollar budget shortfall, which he blames on the poor performance of withholdings and sales tax collections. The budget deficit canceled raises for all state employees. Those raises were scheduled to begin in December. Governor McAuliffe has proposed a one-time, one-and-a-half percent bonus. Party in the Market returns to Charter Hall at the Roanoke City Market. Humble through your smartphone trying to get that code. It could hold things up a little bit. Yeah, if people aren't used to it. Plus, I just like the old-fashioned way of just, you know, swipe the card. Yeah, but anything we can do to prevent identity theft. This is true. Because it's... it is a big problem and a big headache if it happens to oh, you. Oh, goodness, yes, it is. <laughs> Time now is 6-11. Going to hand things back over to Christina with an update. Thanks, Aaron. New this morning, the wrongful death case against convicted murderer George Hughley has been pushed back. The trial will now start July 2018. Hughley is being sued by Yardley Love's mother for $6 million. Hughley's attorneys say two pending insurance cases in Maryland need to be ruled on before this case can begin. He was convicted of second-degree murder and is currently serving a 23-year sentence. A judge will not delay the execution of a man convicted of killing a family of four in Richmond. Ricky Gray's attorneys asked for the delay to challenge the state's plan to use lethal injection drugs from a secret compounding pharmacy. Gray's attorneys say the state risks, quote, chemically torturing him. 
Gray's execution remains scheduled for next Wednesday. He was convicted of killing Brian and Catherine Harvey and their young daughters at their Richmond home on New Year's Day in 2006. In the formal